Oh, I gotta cut my internet off. Yeah, I didn't show you the picture. Let me cut my internet off and I'll. Of his hand? Yeah. Gnarly. Yeah. Uh, did you watch him put the needle in his hand? Holy gosh. You can see the muscles and the tendons. You literally can. And then like this piece right here, you have to watch. Yeah. Because if it doesn't take, yeah. we'll have to go back in and they'll have to end up going into surgery and did digging it. Yeah. Oh my Doesn't goodness. That literally. <laughs> I'll tell you, whenever I did my thumb, I still have that's, like that's, nerve. That's, oh yeah, where it is. That looks better. Here, yeah. I split it with an axe all the way through. God. They took a piece of the bone out. How do you split, split it with an axe? We're just story. now getting your text. Really? It just went off. Oh wow. Yeah, you're live. Well, let's get started then. We got we got quite a bit going on today. I've been trying to baby thing because I don't want him to move that thumb uh -huh. and pop one stitch. Yeah, you do that. Back to square one. Yeah. Somebody's stubborn, maybe. Uh-huh. Oh, you ought to seen him yesterday. About, we about got divorced. <laughs> she did. Hey, Justin. <laughs> I wasn't going to go nowhere. <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? Yeah, uh... What was I going to say? I forgot. Oh, yeah, I'm sitting there trying to cut stuff, mm -hmm. and I don't like people standing over me because it makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. I'll get it off. Yeah, I had, to have, <laughs> I had to have my two shell chop everything up for me. Tell everybody what you're cooking. I'm cooking red beans, kidney beans, mm -hmm. with a Mexican cornbread. And if you're going to stick around, you got to stick around for the Mexican cornbread. This is a whole different ball game. This Mexican cornbread will change your life. Right now, we're going to brown some bacon, some sausage. Just getting in from deer and pheasant hunting. That's uh, Justin. Doing it good? Did you get a hold of Anthony? Yeah, they're, they got stuff they're doing today. Uh, of course. We're from Louisiana, but we've lived in Arkansas for almost six years. Tell you what, I don't know how cold it is out there, but it's pretty freaking warm right here. It's pretty good right now. Yeah, thank God the sun moved. It was. I was like, I'm going to have to. No, missed a shot on a doe. Matt said he's on his way from Baltimore. Shouldn't take too long for that cornbread. Be ready when you get here, I promise you. Hey, mister. What's his name again? This is Casper. Casper, you keep my legs warm, bud. Luna's inside because of the kids. Because she likes the... Up in it. <laughs> yeah. just, he just wants to be loved on. Yeah. You want me to scratch your butt, don't you? Yes, the tornadoes missed us. I think, yeah, I think oh. one hit on the other side of a small, small one. Mm -hmm. Or straight line winds hit over there by University of Arkansas. They actually spotted one in Branson, but I don't know if it touched down. But, yeah. Pollywog Cabin Zone. Are you duck hunting in a Balls Parish this year, right now? kind of. Uh, we're from Louisiana, but live in Arkansas for about six years. We have the Ozark Mountains. We got away from the swamp, went uphill. Back. <laughs> said Justin said between his son and him is uh, they got six pheasants. Oh shit! That'll make a good gumbo. What are you cooking? Uh, red beans. And Mexican cornbread. I bet that ain't the last time I say that. Yeah, I'm supposed to get a whiteboard to put on there right there. Because mm -hmm. that's, yeah. Those two questions. What are you cooking and where are you from? Somebody said they're making salmon patties later. 
You need some help? Are you hurting? No. <laughs> had to give him tech the shot. Well, from the he goes, I just got one when they cut my face. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling that to the nurse. He goes, I just got one for this one. In 2016, they're like, no, you need to get another techno shot with the end of it. The part that cut him was actually in the dirt before uh, it went in his hand. Oh All right, now, let Mexican cornbread, guys. We're gonna, we've got a, uh, a small yellow onion, one for poblano, sliced stuff, and uh, one jalapeno pepper. I'm making venison stew today. Justin says I support the idea of the whiteboard. <laughs> but we're gonna get our bacon and sausage and some ham hock. We're gonna get it browned up a little bit. And uh and we're gonna come in with some flavor, the onions and garlic and you should have brought the gun. Y'all could have uh, tried it out. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> well, you ain't got a scope for it, probably. Oh, true. I, one reason I ain't never got that one out of the box. I ain't got a scope for it yet. So it's not on your back? No, it's not. What is the top of the stove made of? The top of the stove. The fireplace? Uh, the top, I've actually got a piece of metal that comes across the front, and then everything else is just made out of stone, out of cinder blocks and then fire bricks or whatever. Uh, this my part right here is just a piece of tin metal roofing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, somebody wants to know how do you clean your pots afterwards? Usually hot water, just scrub them down, and then I put them back on the fire, get them warmed up, and I put a little bit of lard in them. I'm just kind of getting this pot warmed up. When we put the cornbread in it, I want it to be pretty warm already. Who said they needed you to show? Oh, it was uh, Virginia Boy? Back was Virginia Boy? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. What's the temp here right now? I don't know. Right here, it feels like it's about 100 fucking degrees. Out there, it's probably about 50. 45. 40 something. Huh? 45. It's 45 degrees. 45. No little boy toys. Huh? I said we don't have no little boy toys. Thank you to say thank you, MCP. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no hope because they're playing the rocks and the dirt. Good afternoon. We got people from Oklahoma. Hey, they got a pile right there he can get in. I was trying to show it to him, but he wasn't. Right we are in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. What are you cooking? We're going to be cooking uh, some red bean and kidney beans. Right now we're just browning our meat. we got some bacon, sausage, and ham hock in there. We're going to get our kidney beans and our vegetables in a little while going. And here we're going to make a Mexican cornbread. Right now we've got uh, a yellow onion, one poblano, and a jalapeno pepper, we're just going to kind of saute. Uh, and then we're going to add a couple of other ingredients to this. If we keep losing connection for a second, just give us time. Usually the first few minutes it goes in and out. You guys have done a lot of work to your cooking area. Yeah, we have. 
spruce it up a little bit. Hey. Well, you have a left hand. Oh. What is Mexican cornbread? Well, it's going to be, well, you're going to have to watch it. I promise you, if you don't know what it is, for sure ain't going to know what this one is. But you got to try it. You got to try it. You can do this in your oven at home. You put it in a Put it in a regular pan, put it in your oven. Uh, it's it's going to have, like I said, it's got poblanos, onions, jalapenos. We're going to put a can of cream corn. We're going to put a can of cream corn, and we're going to put some cheddar cheese, and then we're going to put a half a block of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. We're going to melt it down, then we're going to mix up our cornbread. And then we're going to incorporate that into it, and then we're going to put it in that big pot and cook it. Now, cooking it, you got to cook it very slow because there's so much moisture in it. You've got to cook it slow to get all the moisture cooked out. If not, you just end up with a big old sauce pot. Uh, Clinton, we're about an hour and 20 minutes from Clinton. Yeah. What happened? Oh, we got two people just asked, what happened to your hand? I had a little incident Friday afternoon. Uh, I cut the palm of my hand, and I had to go get some stitches. There ain't nothing going to keep us from cooking and eating, though. I was not home. Went for work, out in store, came home, and he was hurt. My husband was here. What? All right, so we've about got the onion and the peppers just about where they need to be. <laughs> Do what? He's chasing the chickens. We're going to dump a can of cream corn. I, <laughs> I like that little grunt when he bent down. Jessica wants to know how's your hand. Oh, the hand is fine. It's stitched up. There ain't nothing else we can do now. Just let it heal up. Be a few days and we'll be. This is Jessica Flores is asking because she knows about your hand. Yeah, we'll be back at it wide open. All right, so we got a can. Is that a dog? Or just a... That must have been Luna. Uh oh, I gotta go get the cheese. Let me go get the cheese. Friendly reminder, stay hydrated. Where do you guys find all these pots at? Mm -hmm. Most of them uh, we've had throughout the years or he inherited or bought. Mm -hmm. This is what we needed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Outdoor. He's cooking red beans and rice and Mexican cornbread. Mayo? Never heard of that. It's creamy. I never heard of it. It's so good. It is. If you overdo it, then it makes it nasty. Yeah, it's just like a little tablespoon, maybe. losing connection more than normal today. I got everything cut off. All right, so we're going to add about, about a cup of cheese. Did you get your buttermilk? God damn it. I don't have to go back. Now here's the kicker right here. We got a half a block of you want me to cut it up for you Philadelphia cream cheese yes we have chickens we'll put this our turkeys we put them up because they're a pain in the ass yeah 
We got that going. We'll try to keep this one. I like that one. I don't know. No, we are actually in our outdoor kitchen cooking. You're doing a little outdoor Dutch oven. We found this one in Gasville over here. It's a little uh, bigger. So we're going to get this all mixed up. Get this melted down. Get our cheeses melted in with the corn and the onions and the peppers. Mm -hmm. Fire pits just made out of cinder blocks and, uh, fire, bricks. and fire bricks. I can't stay, but God bless you too, ma'am. What's on the menu? Red beans, red beans and rice, and Mexican cornbread. Uh, Justin says I'm back. What did I miss? <laughs> I went eat yet. How much? We get this melted. We got some cream corn in here. John's on. What's up, John? We're gonna get this all incorporated with, with itself. And we're gonna come over here and turn our attention to the uh, red beans for a minute. Hey John, just to let you know, we're having red beans and rice and uh, like a Mexican cornbread. If y'all miss something, you wanna ask some questions about what we put in here? I think someone did, but I, it passed up. Just ask. Uh, I always start this off with just, like I said, a, a, a small onion. I, I like to put a habano pepper instead of a bell pepper. Uh, one jalapeno pepper. Just saute that for a little bit, then dump you a can of cream corn. Then about a cup of cheddar cheese shredded, and then about a half a block of uh, cream cheese. Yeah, I make those rugs. Somebody said they're an alpha gritter from the Colorado Rockies. What are you using to heat up the pan on the coals from the fire? I take my coals and put them on underneath. Same thing we got over here. We, every time we cook, we cook with coals. I get a lot of people, the coals kind of turn white and they're sitting on white rocks. So I guess a lot of people think that I magically heat these things up because you can't really see the coals. But uh, no, that's all it is, is just charcoal or wood coal. Somebody said they'll be over in about three hours, LOL. Come on, we'll be ready. So I'm gonna take No, we didn't get any of the bad weather. So I'm gonna pull all this off. You want somebody to come hold it for you? Him running around, keeping that body temped up. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Hot, hot. We, he's, we don't live in Louisiana anymore. He's from a Vols parish, and I'm from uh, East Baton Rouge slash uh, Livingston. We live in uh, Arkansas now, been here for about six years. Yeah, John, we have visitors today. We do have some guests today. We're still waiting for some slow poke ones to show up. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be here right when the food's ready. We've got, we've got family. We call family. Everybody that, we, have too. everybody that we incorporate ourselves with a family. Yeah. I don't know why we keep losing connection today. It goes in and out. All right, 
so I don't want to overdo this. I've got a little bit of heat on it. Look at that booty. Seems to have come together pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna just take this, set it right up here. You want me to go get the milk for you? Now we're going to do a little onion, bell pepper. We're in Marion County. Of course, we got to have a little garlic. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, I like garlic. Yeah, we buy that same container. Do you make the rug? I put the design on it. I have a... Sort, I guess you could say a crafting business. All right. So, now that we've added those. No, we didn't get any of that bad weather from the tornadoes. Now that we put the Trinity in there, we're going to put a little seasoning. Like my spoon? Yes, I love the spoon. It's about 45 degrees here. We're going to lay that there. We're going to let that down. Make love with itself. <laughs> <coughs> All right. And we're going to do... We're going to do a little cornbread. Again, uh, because of my, my hand, I had... I had Angel kind of pre-prep everything to make it a little bit easy on me. Uh, but I'm going to have to go inside and get the damn buttermilk. <laughs> He'll sleep good later, running yeah, around. Yeah, we got some, uh, he's got some co-workers that are coming over. We have one and his wife and their little boy, and then we're waiting on one more, his wife and their two kids. They got two boys, don't they? He cooks a little bit of everything on the weekends. During the week, I do the cooking. I haven't even started Christmas shopping yet. Uh, I'm just going to Venmo some money to my kids and, and for my granddaughter. Let them go pick up whatever they want. Hey, Adam. Adam says I'm coming soon. All right. Why didn't you get the one I already had measured out for you? Oh, I didn't know you had one. Yeah, I got up. measured out for you. Oh crap! <laughs> yes, yeah, in the jar right there. By, it was right there, sitting beside that. Look, I opened the ice box and all these cords like jumped out. I'm sure that yeah, I'm sure yeah, they did. Fell right in there perfectly. They did. I didn't couldn't believe it. they knew exactly they? what pockets to go in. I'm sure they did. All right. Well, be careful it? doing that. Doing what? Plowing some snow. Oh, low. We ain't got to worry about that yet. Yeah, uh, that's about January, almost February. All right, we're going to make a little cornbread mixture. Red beans and rice and Mexican cornbread. Hello from Brazil. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we pre-mixed this as two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of cornmeal. We're actually using <laughs> buttermilk, cornmeal. 
John said, you don't have to yell at him. But, uh, so we've got our cornmeal and our flour and just gonna make sure it's kind of mixed up. Again, I had a lot of this, I had Angel prep some of this because it is. But, uh, I, yes, ma'am. He's been remodeling a little bit. Now we're going to do two cups of buttermilk. Vic, that's mighty from uh, Victoria, British Columbia. <gasps> All right, Casper. I mean, Luna. All right. We've got two cups of buttermilk. Yep, we are in Yaleville. I'm going to put two of these. Giblet eggs. <laughs> Fuck. What's he doing? Just laying there? <laughs> We're gonna get this mixed in. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Again, two cups of flour, all purpose. Two cups of cornmeal, two eggs, two cups of buttermilk. You can tell you're so right-handed. <laughs> you ain't lying. I can't do crap. Anyway, we're going to get this mixed up. Birmingham, Alabama, South Dakota. We've been uh, together 28, Mary 27. Uh, somebody just asked what happened to your hand. I cut it Friday evening. Got, had to go get some stitches. Got 13 stitches. Somebody named Karen Chauvin said they got married in Marion County Courthouse. We got married about 21, 22 years before I knew there was Marion County I had a little bit more milk. Some of this is a bit drier than I like it. I'm fixing to add some, some wetness over here in a minute. Adam, wait, still. I must have missed something on Adam. Is Adam on him? Yeah, somebody said, uh, are you still taking a bunch of meds? I must have missed something. Y'all have to whisper. All right, so. Love your beard, my friend. Thank you, sir. How'd you know it was a sir? Because he said my friend. Woman with me said that. She would say dear. I could eat yeah, Adam, I'll get him to send I'll get him to send you a picture. He cut it all the way down to the tendon and muscle. And uh there's one part we just gotta watch to make sure it takes and stuff. If not, we have to go back and get it all cut out and start all over. Yeah, somebody has got all kind of tattoos, you ought to see the you ought to seen his face when they came in there with that Tegna shot. Uh, hate needles. And then when they started jack putting the needles in his hand, he was like, Ugh. Same with I'm Joe. Like, he about passed out. I'm the same way. All right, now, you don't want to overdo this. Don't don't just go crazy mixing it and just kind of roll it around, flip it in there. He cut it helping a friend change his tire Friday night. And, um... Uh, what is it, the breaker bar that did it? Uh, yeah, one of them just single tires. Kind of the the end of it almost looks like a flathead screwdriver. And just, I was pulling on it. Somebody slipped. said no need to whisper, they'll talk to anyone. And just <laughs> went through, went through the palm of my hand and just gouged it pretty good. Adam said he has his cancer clinic checkup there, uh, Tuesday. 
He had it too. He it? has oh, it. He has it just to use it. Yeah, I'll be giving him a call. Adam said he's the same way. They got Adam. He's a tattoo artist. Bomb ass work. Oh. Yeah, I, tattooing don't bother me. They start wanting to give me shots. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> What are you making again? Red beans with sausage, bacon, and ham hock. And, uh... I can smell it. Yeah, it smells uh, Mexican cornbread. Better come out as good as... <laughs> Somebody said better come out as good as much as you bragged about it last Sunday. Hey, it's good. I'm telling you, this right here is a recipe. If you no, need to get it, you need to get it. He's making Mexican cornbread. This summit right here, I'm telling you. If I'm missing your question, I apologize. You have to, I mean, some of these questions go by so quick. How many you got on there? 240. All right, so I've got my pot. What I like to do is get your pot and get it pretty warm. I've got it where it's pretty, you don't want to get it scalding hot, but you want to get it pretty warm in there. I think they were, we brought them from the house. I think there was like a biscuit or a cinnamon roll. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of this lard. Adam says he has a wireless tattoo machine. Now when I come, I'll hook y'all up. Hell yeah. You could come up for a week. We could probably get you at least one or two every day. Uh, <laughs> What's the plans for next weekend? I ain't really thought about it. Uh, what he add, what's added to what, what do you want to know what's added? Not right now I'm just putting a little bit of lard. You can use lard or bacon grease. Uh, just like I said, just preheat your pot. Don't get it super super hot where you can't. You just want to get it where you can probably put your hand in it for a second or two. It is a fireplace. He just has that wood there to hide the hide the pipe and all. Now we're gonna take this. Makes me so nervous. Uh -huh. this off in here. Using the heck out of it. I know. We do most of our cooking outside on the weekends or when he's off. You ought to call Chris and him say, hey, we done ate it all, it's over with. Yeah. Mess yeah. with him. Now we're just going to kind of smear this in here, level it off best we can. Somebody said, what about cooking a sauce pecan next weekend? We think about it. No <laughs> can I stop by and cook you guys Caucasian food? Caucasian. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I got to admit, that's probably one of the best comments. <laughs> I don't know that we eat Caucasian food. What did you add to the cornbread? Yeah, we'll go through the cornbread here in a minute. Uh, now, I want to cook this pretty slow. I'm going to start over with this damn thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Joe. Hmm. All right. We're going to just cook this mid right out in the middle right here. May I just move me around a little bit. May burn it to me, Joe. Oh, hell, I'll make you another one. He's going to say the recipe here in a minute. I'm going to get to it in a minute. I want to make a ring. With some very good cold, but I want to stay off that pot because I don't want it to really get <laughs> too hot. Uh, Tell me if I ain't gonna be bouncing off the wall. Then I had a monster. Got all this and coffee. Uh -huh. It don't. Don't, it don't affect me. 
I could drink a pot of coffee for, right before I go to bed. I, I could drink a pretty level. I like that blue. We're gonna get out cold, like I said, kind of keep them on the outside. Who is this? It's gonna get super hot. Got the thing you keep in mind when you're cooking with cold. Shit. You put your hand over it there for about six seconds, about 350 degrees. Somebody said make a meatloaf. Mm. We're gonna come and put some on the on the roof. Checking this pretty regularly. We may have to thin out the cold. May have to pull them away from the bottom. What about a sauce pecan? It sounds pretty good to me. Other than the fact that you don't eat it. Well, I'm not real big on tomato gravy. I can barely do spaghetti sauce. You know, we're going to see, I think next Sunday I may do. We only have uh, uh we may do something a little different. Or actually a lot different. We only have one grandchild. I'm thinking more next Sunday I'm thinking more of doing maybe a maybe a big casserole with uh maybe some type of casserole with some fried fish or something or fried chicken. Uh, somebody wants to know, do you use hickory wood? Uh, I do use some, some hickory, mostly whenever I'm, uh, smoking. I try to save a lot of my hickory from when I'm smoking. But, uh, I do use some cooking. Most of what I use is red oak, white oak. Oh, there was another one. Come in. Oh, can you put a, uh, pig in the fireplace? Uh, well, I mean, I don't put them in the fireplace, but I can, I can hang one and, uh, cook him right here on the outside, which is something else we'll probably be doing before too, too long. Now, we're from Louisiana, but we live in Arkansas. That would be called a, uh, a cochon de lait. Oh, there was another comment. Let that, I oh, YouTube, Cajun Custom Calls. No, these aren't cooked Caucasian style. What? Somebody said Mexican cornbread, red beans, and rice cooked Mexic uh, Caucasian style. No. How you got into this lifestyle? We don't really do a whole lot of Caucasian foods, to be honest. Somebody said make a pizza. Well, I ain't against that neither. Pizza sounds pretty damn good. Somebody's cooking a deer roast with fire roasted green chilies. And after it's done, apricot preserves or apricot, depending on where you're from. Looks more finished than last time. Well, we're always working on it. I can promise you, if we don't work on it, nobody ever will. <laughs> what brought us to Arkansas? Away from civilization. The, the, the freedom of... Buying, buying, you know, a chunk of land, getting away from, <laughs> yeah, just from the crowd. I like this one. Everything else. They said Brandy, that girl from uh, Pier Park, they put from Pie Park. Said so she's going to be in uh, Little Rock next Saturday. I don't follow her. I see a lot of her lives and some of her videos, but what I don't follow. That? Brandy. The one from Pier Park, she's a... Uh, Right after Hurricane hit, she helped raise a lot of money oh, yeah, yeah. for the linemen to make food. Yeah.
chitlins. Oh, no. I don't. Me, personally, I don't know. Mm-mm. I know where they come from. I know what goes through them. I don't care how much you clean them. Lot, I, <laughs> I ain't eating a chitlin. I mean, I pretty much eat. It's the hog intestines where the poo poo and all that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If it's Ooh. clean, if it's clean and cooked right, it's, it's good. Yeah, it is. Let's go, Brandy. Yeah, we have a toilet outside. <laughs> uh. No, we have. Oh, Shit is full. Yeah, we have <laughs> indoor plumbing. Yeah. Oh, Adam wants to know how you cut your hand. I, I was raised in Sims the, Court. I was helping a, a friend change a flat tire. You know the little tire tool? Kind of like an L shape, and the other end looks like a big screwdriver. I, was, I had it in the palm of my hand, and I was pulling up on it, and it started to bend. And I don't know how, but somehow it, some it, my hand slipped off of it. And when it did, it, that little flat spot caught me about right here and just ripped, ripped it across the whole palm of my hand. But it just sucks because it's in a spot where it just aggravates to do anything. I like bread with my cracklings. I like sweet potatoes with my yeah. cracklings. Hey Adam, he'll send. I'll send you a picture real quick of what is of his hand. All right. <coughs> I think I got them onions. We both in love with each other. <laughs> what you watching? We're gonna throw all this goodness back in there. Yes, sir. Grease and all. So it wouldn't be no good if it didn't have grease. I like the cooking pie. I ain't got grease on it. I ain't gonna eat it. <laughs> I love her. Adam said he had a bad hand injury one time. It that hurt the most. Yeah, it just sucked. The last time, you know, we've been here. We've been here almost six years. And at least once a year, we go to the hospital. <laughs> About once a year, I end up at the damn hospital. And yeah, it's because your hand, huh? And every fucking time, it's a hand injury. Sorry, it's this one, I split. They had to take the bone out the tip of it and sew that cement back up. Uh, what was the other one I went? I had something else I had to go for. I, I cut this motherfucker, I think, right here. I cut my hand right here on the back of my thumb. When you broke your ankle. Yeah, I broke my ankle. That was work inflicted there. And then... Now I did some of a bitch. I walked in there, I told that, that doctor, I said, hey, y'all ought to have me on fucking speed dial. <laughs> yeah, whenever we went in there, uh, Audrey asked him, do I have to keep this mask on? He's like, no, you can take it off. I'm glad y'all don't wear it. Really? Yep. Yeah, I asked him, I said, you get that vaccination? He said, Hell no, I let God play his part. He said, I got the, the natural. He said, I just caught the damn virus. And he said, now nah, I got the, the immunity. <laughs> I don't want to add a little water. Now all that shit been <laughs> falling in love with each other. Yeah, he's pretty <laughs> much a walking accident. Yeah, pretty much. Somebody said they seen a guy cut his hand and dipped his hand in diesel. Said the craziest shit I've ever seen. Well, they say kerosene is real good. Bowstring almost took the tip of my finger off. They say kerosene. Well, I can promise you, look, I've done some stupid shit in my life now. When you almost cut your own finger off with a fucking full bone axe, it's kind of hard to do, but... Yeah, he come, he's like... Oh, it, it can be done. He's how? like... How? He's <laughs> like this. He goes... I was cutting... I was cutting, you know, fire, I was splitting firewood, and I was, you know, one block on top Ooh. of another one. And I was splitting firewood, and, you know, it was one little strand that held the two pieces together, but it had fallen off the block. So I grabbed the piece, and I pulled on it, you know, and the other one just laid over, and it just that little string. And I had the axe about this far from the head. And when I did like this, the fucking handle hit the block that I had the other one sitting on. It, 
I had it like this, and it it hit that, and it it uh, turned the axe, and it and some of it went. I mean, it cut through from this knuckle today. It took the bone out, or well, they took the bone out, and they didn't think it would, you know, it would sew up and actually, you know, make it. They thought they were gonna have to cut it off. And he sewed it up, and about a week later, I mean, that's so much as black as that pot. I hope y'all are. Uh, and I thought, well, that's so much as gone. Are you the? Are you from? And, uh, did I any of the tornadoes hit you? Says, Shit, that looks good. Said, We're from Louisiana, but we live in <laughs> Arkansas. Okay. About two weeks later, I started feeling a little feeling in it, and the color started peeled, you know. And Fonzie's on. I actually can feel the end of it, so it's good now. The red beans and rice is bell pepper, onion, green pepper, sausage, bacon, ham hock. And then he's gonna put some bay leaves. We'll put a couple of bay leaves. Once we get it going good, I wanna let this let that meat fall in love with the onion. Let's check this. Jumped over a fence, nail and board went through my foot. Grandpa poured kerosene on it back in 1955. Sent his ass on his way. <laughs> the guy that said that he was from uh, Kentucky, he said the tornadoes were like four hours from him. All right, we're gonna add these swollen ass beans. We put them on. I don't know about y'all. I like to soak mine, but I don't soak them overnight. I usually just heat some water up warm. Just add it to the collection. Uh, just warm you some water up, not boil them, but just warm, and then put it on your beans. Let them soak for about an hour, and then rinse them off. Uh. Yeah, kinda, we'll put up the recipe on the page. Probably won't be during till the Christmas holidays because he's off for a week. Well, we gonna fuck up some pots that week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna be cooking some shit. We be home every day. I'm gonna have to go cut some firewood. We gonna be yeah. cooking. After he hurt his hand, cause horse was still there, I get a text while I was at the horse. Hey, you want me to come over this weekend cut y'all some firewood? I said we got plenty for now. I said, we got plenty. He was supposed to come today, but he can't. Beer. When I say a little bit, I'm talking about cover your damn beans. Now, we're supposed to have some more people show up. If they don't, well, we're going to be eating fucking beans for a week. Yeah, y'all taking <laughs> some home with y'all. You know, they said they, uh, they, they were going to be on their way about 20 minutes ago. but I told you guys around the time. That they're ready. Yeah. <laughs> we used to we used to tell Hunter and Michelle if we're gonna eat at uh twelve. We tell them, oh, we're gonna eat about one one thirty. They'll get there no, at twelve. About eleven. Yeah. Tell them you're gonna eat at about about eleven in the morning. Yeah, that's what I meant. How is Hunter? Doing good. All right, let's throw a little bit more seasoning in. Just staying you busy. Can't never have too much. Season. He, he flies out on the 22nd to go to Miami. We're going to throw a couple of bay leaves in there. So you're see you don't have yeah. two, that's optional. I'm sure he's ready for it. He is. He hasn't seen her since she left in April. Aww. Pink looks good on you. Well, they put the regular brown wrap on him, Adam, but we pulled it off last night because the way they had it wrapped, it was sliding up, and that's some pink that I had from the bead store. But I'm going to go. I think they do have camo. I'm going to probably go get him some camo tomorrow. It don't matter to me. I ain't scared of pink. Shit, I've fought most of my life to get close to pink. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that's what she said. <laughs> Brandy's supposed to bring some real Cajun food to the coffee shop. Hell, we got real Cajun food right here. Brandy, Brandy, yeah, to a coffee shop in Little Rock. I guarantee you, there ain't nothing they can cook I can't cook. Yep. Just some of it I just care not to eat. If I knew my truck would make it, I'd bring you some of that good old yellow wood. Oh, shit, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I 
I know every time, the youngest one, every time he broke a bone racing motocross, he always had a pink cast. <laughs> what y'all know about what? That's what she said. Hi. What we know about what? What y'all know about that's what she said. You know, probably move closer, get more in that sun. <laughs> yes, it is. It's actually when we build our house, finish building our house, it's all be connected. <laughs> Woo! But it is close to the place we're living in now. What is yellow wood? It's or Osage orange is what it's actually called. Osage. It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful wood to put on a wood-laden machine. Santa Claus asks what you cooking. Uh, pot of red bean and a Mexican cornbread. Yeah, we have Santa Claus that follows him. Aww. <laughs> Santa Claus dude, too. Give you a little bit of holiday spirit. I haven't even put a Christmas tree up. I'm going to rotate, and y'all probably seen me do several times already, rotate that lid, but now I'm going to rotate my pot. Well, I know Hunter's not going to be here, and I'm not for sure if Chase is coming, so uh, I'm not putting nothing. Just in case, we don't want to get, I've got a little bit more heat on this side than I do on this side. Adam said every bone I've ever broke before the hand accident was from motocross. That's about like Chase. Do y'all have lighter wood there? Pine, like pine lighter? I don't know uh, most of the wood. I unless they're talking about colored, like lighter color. Oh, and yeah, we got all kind of, I mean, we got. Yes, we can food. We got, uh, maple, they got some maple. Who that, who that dude said hello, happy holidays from Colorado. The recipe on the cornbread will do it the week of uh, Thanksgiving. That way we can. I'll give it to y'all real quick if you want it. Yeah, you got a pen. Get, let us know when y'all got a pen and piece of paper. So, on this cornbread, because I don't cook this one the same as I do a regular cornbread. On this cornbread here, it's two cups of all purpose flour. Two cups of yellow cornmeal, three teaspoons of baking powder, two cups of buttermilk, two eggs. That's going to actually make the cornbread. Then, in a separate pan, saute your onion. You can put bell pepper or poblano, whatever you prefer, uh, and a jalapeno pepper. Once they saute down, Add you a can of cream of, I mean, a cream corn. Add you about a cup of a shredded cheddar cheese and then a half a block of cream cheese. Let that all melt together. Once it comes to a good melting point, pour it in your bowl with the cornbread. Just kind of roll it. Don't, don't mix it real hard. Just kind of fold it around until it incorporates with itself. And put it in a warm Dutch oven. I put about two, three uh, teaspoons of bacon all a uh, bacon grease in the pot first, and then just pour it down in there and keep it cold. Now, if you make it, you can put this in the oven. You can make it the same way and put it in the oven. If you cook it in a Dutch oven, just keep an eye on it because there's a lot of moisture in in some bread, and you can see that it's real jelloy. Uh, and right now the heat's about perfect. It's not pulling away from the pot yet, but the center's starting to firm up a little bit, and that's what I want to cook the inside before I cook the bottom and burn it. Somebody said they're bringing brandy a half a gallon present. <laughs> no, we're not from North Louisiana. We're from South uh, 
but we've been, uh, we worked pipeline. That's where we lost a lot of our accent from and stuff. Uh, I'm from Baton Rouge and Denham Springs area. And he's from a little town called Moorville in a Vols Parish right on the Atchafalaya. Yeah, she has a strong accent. A lot of people in Pier Park does. A lot of people that actually live on the Bayou and, the, and all that. Down that way, they do have it. <laughs> do what? Uh, that time of the... Yeah, he naps at like 11 or 12. I was hoping he'd nap on the way here. But... He'll nap in my lap, hopefully. Keep me warm. Please stop my stomach. I heard my stomach say, please, Lord, please, that was Adam. I just moved out to Ponchatoula to Texas. Out of Ponchatoula to Texas. I actually got some family that lives in Amy in Greensburg and all that area. How much baking powder was it? Uh, three teaspoons. Oh, I put tablespoon. Did you really? No, yeah. You didn't. <laughs> I guess we don't see. <laughs> Keep watching over me like a hawk, like you yeah, bird dogging. A uh, tablespoon. You did. That motherfucker would be pushing the lid up right now. <laughs> What's on the menu? Red beans and rice with some sausage, bacon, and ham hock, and uh, Mexican cornbread. I actually had a young man, uh, Hispanic, nested me not long ago asking to make a Mexican cornbread. I don't know if he'll get to see it or not. Love y'all's channel. Keep cooking RT. They're from Alabama. I'm waiting for them to come eat. Fonzie said, Papa is at it again, I see. <laughs> what was after the bacon powder? Uh, uh, after the bacon powder, let's see, you, at that point, you should have your, all your dry ingredients, which would be two cups of flour, all-purpose flour, two cups of corn cornmeal, three teaspoons of bacon powder. Mix that up in your bowl. Then put two cups of buttermilk and two eggs. Get it incorporated. Uh, it's going to be a little dry when you do this because you're fixing to add a lot of wetness to it. So you want it a little bit dry. Uh, and then you'll cook, like I said, saute your onions and peppers and stuff. Then put in your cream of corn, your cheddar cheese, and your cream cheese. And when that all melts down, pour it in your mixture of cornbread and incorporate it. And it's going to get really, you know, wet then. Uh, and then put it in a, in a warm cast iron. Or like I said, you can cook it in the oven. You don't have to put it in cast iron. Yes, people from Alabama are welcome. <laughs> I just don't say the RT word because it... Because we're from Louisiana. It gives me the Malika. Where's Joe going? Probably to Moon Creek somewhere. Oh. Was he going to find him? Yeah. When y'all going to cook up a batch of squirrel dumplings? Woo! It ain't going to be long. Uh. High from Urania. I got family that lives in Tullis and Isla. It ain't gonna be long. I'm actually throwing some chunks, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see these small chunks I'm throwing in there right now. This is actually cherry. <laughs> oh no, we don't. We don't do RT here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to cut. Okay, we'll see you in a little while, Justin. <laughs> Thank you so much for the recipe. I'm a transplant soiler. Look, that's just. I just can't. I just can't say it. It just, uh, I'll say War Damn Eagle. I won't say Arkansas. I can't do it. I can't do Alabama or Arkansas little sayings. I just can't. 
I've never been able to. I got wash and conditioner coming. Awesome. Hey, he's been, Adam, he's been letting some of the guys at work. Oh, man. My word. Listen, it's been. They're I, ready I, to buy it. I was going to call, I'm, I'm going to call you, and, you know, we'll get together shortly, but, uh, man, I've let eight or ten guys take just the oil and put some on them. Uh, or just smell it with their and, hands. Man, it, it's, I'm telling you, I don't think, I don't think we can make it fast enough. I'm excited about it. I mean, that scent is dead on. It's, it's a great scent. Uh, it really holds up and, and lasts. And it just feels, it just feels right. She says she's a Big Ten or LSU fan. What are you cooking? A uh, pot of red beans. Red beans over here and a pot of Mexican cornbread. Wait till you get that butter. And somebody said, a uh, good choice of uh, adult beverage. Damn, skip it. It's either this or this. And we're not doing that. <laughs> not today. If we do that, that ain't all we're going to be doing. Don't even go there. We'll be passing out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, my mom's side of the family, they live up there. They're morrows. I thought Chris knew where we lived. Yeah, I did too. Ah. He's lent down Brushy Fork Road right across the house. But yeah, I mean, I thought he knew where we lived too. Yeah. I, th I thought he knew. And I thought he had been here before. What do you eat? I, I thought Chris had been by here maybe not. Oh no, he's watching the thing. That's why I thought his eyes are like, I thought they were closed. Adam said, thanks bro. I want it to be really good. Oh, it, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's right there. I can't wait. I'm the rice is cooking inside. The what? Where's the rice? I said it's cooking inside. Yeah, we're going to cook the rice inside. Hey, we do cheat a little bit. I'll take a jar. Adam okay. said, Fonzie said, uh, creek water's better. That old creek water, I ain't nothing wrong with none of that. I ain't going to knock nobody. But no, I laugh at Adam. I mean, Adam. I laugh at Anthony every morning. He passes exactly almost at either 623 or 625 exactly every morning. I can hear him. He ain't letting it stop in that little... He don't let off the gas until he gets to the curb. In that truck. Yes. Hello from Australia again. Hey, welcome back. We fixing to have some good groceries there. Yeah, him and Adam are starting a beard company. Beer supply. Beer products. Beer products. Oh, Adam said the next scent's gonna be creek water. Oh. Yes, sir. We're gonna do. We're gonna have. We're gonna have a great product. What Adam's worked on so far has just been. I'm telling you, it, it's. Huh. It's a beautiful scent. Uh, they gonna try that. It works gonna, very, very well. I'm gonna like whatever scent they make for the beard products. I'm gonna actually start making candles to match the scent. So whenever they do like a gift basket, it'll have like little jars, yeah. like little things of candles in it. Yeah. I'm super excited. I can't wait for us to get everything kicked off and going. Yeah. Probably sometime after the first of the year, we make make a trip to West Virginia to go get this thing kind of kicked off. And Somebody said awesome, because Adam said it'd be a couple of months. And this guy said awesome, I need some stuff. He said there isn't any man scent oil and cream. That's 
That's fixing to be. Pretty much what all their scents are going to be. It's fixing to be nothing but. And I'm sure they'll make one without any scents for the ones that are allergic to all the perfume part of our oils of it. Make, we're going to make everything that people are looking for. Adam told him, we got you. Yep. What about an old wet blue tick scent? <laughs> what is that smell? Smell like a dog? Yeah. <laughs> Hell, I like it. Well, a man's always in a dog house, so they gotta... Yes, we're having some nice weather today. It's, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking to take this dang hoodie off. I bet you are burning up over there. Okay, 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 okay. What are you doing, Christopher? Sorry, we're so late. <laughs> Timber Cutter Patriot said, hey, brother. What's up, bro? I hope everybody's enjoying their morning. Yeah. We got a couple of folks coming in. Of course, they, they ain't nothing like me because they're all late. Well, I know Joe wasn't late. Cedar still smells good. I think they got a cedar. I think it's a, they're working on a cedar tobacco scent, I think. I don't know. Or cedar saddle. I don't remember. But it is a cedar scent. Yeah. Okay. Can we help you with the other side? No, I get it. I had to shove that time, Mitch. I'm burning up. Okay, get down to your draws. <laughs> what you gonna do when you at I work? Get a community guideline violation. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gonna have to get somebody to help you uh, hook yourself I'll get up. One of them, I'll oh, get a. Uh, okay. I'll get a federal offense. An old man holding a little boy figure. <laughs> Don't be saying that. You'll be getting off. Of, they'll be busting your oh, ass on there's you. There's a video on TikTok. That, that woman tells her husband, you know, that's a felony. He said, what? She said, a grown man holding a little boy figure. I told Manuel that once. He wasn't happy. I told Shane one day. Somebody he said your butter should be here butter. Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. I can't wait. Yo, be careful with your hand. I am. We got a pot of red beans. Call it the priest. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> oh, God. I got to get some heat on the top of something. <laughs> Oh, that's that's funny. We, we try to keep that part as private as we can. No, no, oh yeah, no. What is that? Where exactly we live. <laughs> no, I mean, I kind of figured he did. He said he did, and I was like, I don't think he does. Because it kind of makes me nervous. I, like, I had somebody come back here about two weeks ago, just showed up randomly and asked, oh, where's your husband at? And he must watch the live because he started walking this away without being invited this way. Oh, is that where he does all his cooking? I said, look, come back after 5 o'clock. And then I already had my gun on me. Oh, yeah. That's weird, yeah. So, you don't live out here for no reason. Like, you don't just walk up and do yeah. that. Mikey came back here one time. The guy he used to work with, MCP, he came back here one time. Hey, with, Mikey. Oh, yeah. uh, came back here one time without him being here, and I came out with a double barrel. I didn't know who he was. Yeah. And he 
He went to, he saw Audrey like a day or two. Man, I came to your house. Your wife came out with a shotgun. He said, you lucky she didn't shoot you. Yeah. What's for dinner? Red beans with some sausage, smoked sausage, some bacon, and some ham hock. Huh? And Mexican cornbread. Right? Although we ain't got a damn Mexican here. We made Mexican Bonus cornbread. Bonus dias. If my granddaughter was here, she'd have Peruvian. We are in Arkansas, between Mountain Home and Harrison. Cajun Korean. Cajun Korean. <laughs> More. Throw a little pizza. Throw it on there. Get some shit going. Jake MCP has sent you a picture. Who's Jake? Who's that? Oh. No, oh, no wonder I haven't seen you. Uh, I keep forgetting how to pronounce your name. J Jada, Jada from Brazil. She always follows us on the first one. This is his backup to his backup. So with this one here, uh, this is the one we're going to do all the cooking. Yeah. Uh, try to keep our nose clean. Maybe not get banned. That won't happen. I was supposed well, to we buy it. Anything on this one, but and some, I but forgot to video. yesterday. Uh, so I guess we need to make a video on 2.0, letting everybody know we've got this thing. <laughs> Doug said he, he said I'm gonna get if I get time I'm gonna send you a whiteboard. Who's that? Doug. We need to put a white board, kind of let everybody know what we're cooking. Yeah, that's what I told her. Hang it right there. Just we're cooking that away because I guarantee you, I bet we, I bet I say what we're cooking. You know what you could do? Five hours. Same time. to you. Merry the Christmas. You're we miss it's you true. too. The recipe that every time you cook, the recipe that you're doing that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what good. we. Yeah. yeah. yeah recipe of the day and stuff. That's yeah, what we usually do. And everybody can just use your videos as the recipe.